Hi everyone, today I thought I'd do a quite romantic pink look. So this idea of having pink on eyes, lips and cheeks. I mean, I love blush and I love pink blush. So that will be the sort of focal point, but I'm also gonna use pinks on the eyes and lips as well. So I've applied the Cosmetic Immunity Moisturizer as a kind of moisturizer slash primer. And now I'm going to use Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation in shade 20. This one looks a little bit light when it goes on, but it warms up. Quite alarming when it first goes on. So that's starting to warm up now, and it will a tiny bit more as well. It's just one of those formulations that tend to be quite water-based that change color a lot. So I'm gonna use some Pro Prime, not Pro Prime, um, Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS and just apply that with a brush. Let's try this one. Somebody mentioned in the comments the other week that I tend to pick up any old brush that's near me, and I do, I do actually. I do have my favorites, but sometimes when I'm just looking to blend something in or um, powder or something like that, anything that looks like a, a good shape or reasonably good shape, I'll pick it up. So I don't really, stick by what the um the brand would say like they'll say oh this is for blending your eyeshadow and I'll, to me i go that's good for applying powder or then another brush will say this is a concealer brush and i'll say no i think that's a good whatever something completely different so i think it's um you know everyone applies makeup differently so you don't have to use brushes for the job that they are designed to do it's whatever works for you, really. So this, I don't even know what this is. I'm using it for concealer. What does it say? It says it's a cut crease brush, so there. I've put a dark nail on because I thought I'm doing quite a rosy pink, quite soft, pretty makeup. And in that case, it's quite good to have a darkened nail. Just gives it a little bit of an edge. Stops it from getting too saccharine. I'm also going to do some pinpoint as well with an eyeliner brush. A bit more concealer. So next I'm going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. And why change the habit of a lifetime? Doesn't this feel so cosy and nice that we're using this again? That I used to use in every single one of my videos at one one point. Um, still love it because I'm not going to do a very highlighted look. It's more about the soft kind of romantic washes of colour and less about the sort of blingy highlighter. So I'm actually only going to put it right on the top of my cheeks and just blend delicately into the concealer and the foundation. Next I'm going to use the Kajar Vice blush in Happy because I love the colour, really rosy pink. They do lots of different shades to shoot, suit different skin tones. But I think that shade on a light to medium would be just like a really nice flush. Obviously, if you've got a deeper skin tone, you'll need a deeper shade of pink, something a little bit richer. So I'm going to actually use the same brush, which is got now a tiny bit of concealer on, tiny bit of foundation on, tiny bit of the highlighter from earlier on. I'm also going to mix in a small amount, it's in this pot because it's from my kit, so I don't um, carry it in the the big pot because I find they always break. So I'm going to mix in with a tiny bit of the Becca and just start to roll this colour on. It's quite a bright pink. We do have a dog here at the moment. That's Amelia and she doesn't like the postman. So, or any anyone that comes to the door that's delivering anything. Do you know what, I might get her on at the end of the tutorial just so you can have a look at her. So just, oh, I've picked up another brush. I don't know what this brush is, but it's very soft and very nice. And I'm using that just to blend in. This is gonna be a slow build up just because to make the pink blush look as though you're flushing with from within actually takes quite 
a bit of work because you don't want to just plonk it on top and have it sitting on top of the skin. You really need to have it worked into the skin. And as each layer goes in, you almost lose the color as well. So I'm gonna just build up each time. I'll probably finish with a touch of powder anyway, powder blush, I mean, at the end, but this is just a really lovely base and it will give you that three-dimensional freshness to the skin as well. While I'm building that up, I'm just going to add also a touch on my eyelids. I'm going to use some powder colour as well, but just getting a base on. That's really looking nice and naturally sheeny. Want more of a sheen than a, a heavy shine. Now I'm actually going to leave that all just to settle in. So I'm not going to set it, I'm not going to do any powder yet until my the warmth of my skin really starts to meld all those textures together and I'm able to see what's left on the surface of the skin. So on to eyes and I'm going to use this um, palette, the Mr. Big by palette by Lancome. And there's four shades which are called Big Date, um, these pinky shades. So um, I'm going to work firstly with the very rosy pink shade. And this is so pink that I just want a really soft wash of it. So I'm almost using this to set the cream that I've got on already. And I want to create a wash, so nothing too heavy at this point. Just a nice wash of colour like that. I'm going to use this one along the lower lash line. Again, more of a wash than anything. And then going to use this brown shade just to ground everything because Otherwise, it gets a little too much pink around the eyes. So I'm going to go in with this shade at the outer edge. More of a wash again, not really, um, no lines, just washing the colour on. I still see a little bit of the, the peachy pink one I used underneath, which was quite a shimmery colour. So this really is blending in quite well with it. There's like the tiniest, finest pink glitter on that second shade I used. Uh, you don't really notice it unless you're really looking closely. So before I do anything else, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and put on some mascara on the lower lashes. And then I'm going to put actually some fake lashes on the top. And finish off with mascara there as well. So I'm just applying some mascara to the lower lashes. I want to keep the look really fresh so I'm not going in with a heavy volumizing one on the lower lashes, just more of a, a fine separating mascara. Keeping them sort of wispy and feathery. So now I've applied some individual lashes, I'm going to put one more on. It's quite a long process for me because I'm much faster doing them on other people than I am myself. Um, but I did make a video about how to apply individual lashes, so it's a completely separate video which I'll link to. Um, I'm using the Swede Lashes Nikki Makeup Collab and these are really nice because they're very light and very feathery. I will give you a tip, when you're lifting them off the actual strips, be very careful because they're very delicate. Um, so I'm just going to put one more on this outer edge and I've chosen the short ones, there's a longer version um, and these are quite short but I just feel personally I suit them when they're not too long and because they are so fine I'm going to wait for the glue to dry and wait till they're really settled in and then I am going to put mascara over the top of them so they will be longer and um, more defined but they still won't be they'll still be quite 
airy and um, lightweight to go with this look. So the next thing I'm going to do, I think I probably need to powder now before I do anything because I notice that I'm getting really shiny. I'm going to use the Manessi 7 powder that I used last week that I liked and just mainly use it around the center of my face and any other shiny areas. I'm also going to use, because this is so lightweight, use a little bit under my eyes, just where I applied some concealer as well. So on to brows. I'm going to make them quite luscious and full. I feel like with this look, with all the lashes and the sort of rosy cheeks, it would be nice to have quite generous brows. Within reason, obviously. But I'm going to thicken them up a little bit. I'm going to start from underneath and then from over the top as well. So from the sort of middle section out towards the end and then again here at the inner corner few more hairs there. I'll come back to that one. So I'm putting my list together of the tutorials that everyone wants to see. So, so far the most requested in the last week particularly have been my makeup at the BAFTA, which was quite natural, a um, little dark around the eyes, very natural lips, and Dua Lipa, the looks that I did for her new video, physical. Um, that was 12 really colourful looks. There's like a greeny, a blue, an orange, a yellow, every colour in the spectrum. Um, when everyone loves the kind of greeny blue one so that's definitely been a very popular choice so next I'm going to use the Glossier Boy Brow this is in brown but I've dabbed the edge a little bit because I don't want too much product so I'm just going to separate my brows just lifting the hairs as I go along this will also give that slightly fuller, luscious look. You probably look a little bit stark at the moment because I haven't got any mascara on, but when the mascara's on and the lips are done and everything, you get that balance in the face. There's always a moment during makeup when something just feels very dominant, but hang in there because often when everything's done, everything comes together and if it doesn't you can always take down the thing that wasn't in balance in the first place. So just still waiting for this glue to dry, I think it's almost dry now. So I think I can probably go in now with my mascara and I'm using again the DHC one so it's quite fine, mainly at the roots, holding at the roots and then just going through my obviously my own lashes and bringing it through to the individual fake lashes as well. So we're getting that nice sort of feathery look. And then mascaring the second eye, same thing. Roots of the lashes, gently through. Just trying not to weigh down the, the lashes that I put on. I want to emphasize them all, but keep them looking as almost as feathery as they are now but obviously more defined. I'm going to go back in with my brush as well. So before I finish eyes, I'm going to do lips with this quite natural pencil. And this is a pencil that you can use to shape the lips, so to draw and create the shape, but also to fill in. I'm just going to pat that in. It's going to do a really natural lip. So 
that's kind of a natural pink lip and I'm going to go back in with a touch more on the eyes now that we've got the balance there I can see I'm going to go back in with actually the strongest pink and add just a little bit more just a hint more I think that's kind of a, enough there and maybe at the inner corner using the really pale pink in the palette this is in big crush section a little bit of paler pink there and then to finish off my blush I'm going to go in with a powder blush over the top I think I'll use the Dior it's in my palette the Dior Glow. I don't know what this brush is, but let's try. This is a slightly bluer pink. And I'm going to keep it not too, I don't want to go high up. I'm going to keep it around the center of my face, like a real flush around the center. just to blend in the eyeshadow. I'm going to stop there. That's my kind of natural pink look. Natural-ish, obviously it's not completely natural, but that's the sort of fresh pinky glow, the rosy glow look. Um, I am going to amp this up a bit more. This is definitely a look that I think is just so fresh and pretty. So I'm just going to oomph up the look with classic red lips and a little bit more pink on the eyes. I do love red and pink actually together. I'm just going to go on top. Okay, so next I'm going to go back in again with the deepest pink just onto the socket line really. And that's the finished look. I, I know I said it before, but I just love red lips and a pink eye. Um, if you, this is too much for you, then you can stick to the previous level, which was more of the soft pink lip with the pink eye. Um, but I just think this is so enlivening and fresh on the skin. Please do let me know in the comments below if there are any looks that you'd like to see tutorials of. I'm gonna be spending my Valentine day with Amelia, who is the House of Eldridge dog. And, and we also have Buzz as well, but Buzz is a part-timer. <laughs>